Have you ever shared an experience with someone, but noticed their perception of that experience was different than yours? Perception is defined as how we interpret or see something, like in the photo behind me. Some of you may see the old woman, others the young lady, some may see both, and others absolutely nothing. No matter what you see, we know that perception has the power to not only influence the decisions we make, but the world around us. So how does perception influence our health? This is a question I want to explore further after meeting an inspiring mother named Lisa, a kind woman whose pride and joy is her three children, who has a nag for horror films, pasta, and of course, Chick-fil-A. I had the honor of meeting Lisa this past year in one of our current research studies, with one question looking at health differences in women with or without a history of gestational diabetes. During this time, Lisa and I went through many surveys, one of which was a USDA food security screener. Food security is defined as households having access to food at all times for all members in that household. And at first glance, it appeared as Lisa was very food secure. However, the more Lisa and I started talking, the more I realized how our perceptions on this topic were actually quite different. For example, you could say that I had the perception as the older woman in this photo. I just started to notice some of the wrinkles or nuances to some of her responses. While in contrast to the young lady, her phrases were a little more short and sweet. An example being, yes ma'am, we have plenty of food to eat. Only talking further, discovering that the quality of these foods were mainly Pop-Tarts, honey buns, and soda, and she was getting most of this food from her mother's house. You see, Lisa and I were having a conversation on the same exact topic, but had very different interpretations of its meaning. And this is something that is not currently captured in the USDA screener. And this is important to look at. Food insecurity impacts over 15 million US households, and women of childbearing age like Lisa having a greater risk for developing diseases like gestational diabetes when exposed to food insecurity. And of women who have gestational diabetes, up to 40% go on to develop type 2 diabetes in the next five years. So for my dissertation, I want to understand how women's perceived food security impacts the risk for developing diseases like gestational diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Does a specific perception of food security display a specific health profile? Is it important that we look at perception at all when it comes to food insecurity? These are some questions that I have. But ultimately, the goal is one, to see if these relationships exist, and if so, how and when should we cause these interventions to come in, and who we should, who we should target in order to reduce these outcomes. Thank you.